Hey everyone, you know why you don't eat clown meat? Because it tastes funny. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Yes, today we got another independent film on the chopping block, and it is called Clown Hunt. Yes, Clown Hunt. We're going to the wilds of Texas where there are clown farms. Clowns used to roam free and be uh, pests, but due to overhunting, uh, there are now clowns can only be found on clown farms where people can go and hunt the dangerous clown. Well, some people make this an annual event, and the group of hunters that we follow have made this an annual event, and while on their annual event, they end up crossing the path with the dangerous and rare albino clown named Albino Willie. Well, Albino Willie isn't going to let the hunters get, them, get him that easy, and he helps get the clowns together on the farm, and soon you find the hunters have more than they bargained for on this hunt. Ah, oh, wow. Clown hunt. A comedy horror where there's more comedy than horror, though there are horrific things happening in this film. Now, as you can imagine, this is a rather sensitive subject matter, but then again, being an independent film, it's not within the realm or boundaries of just about anything. So, <laughs> there is some quite colorful and maybe wrong humor in this film, though I did find myself laughing in spite of myself. Now, we've got Barry Tubb, who directed, wrote, helped produce, and he even has a role in this film. He was the Wolfman in Top Gun, and now he's making films like Clown Hunt. I, I enjoyed this film. First, the production quality of this film was surprisingly very good. It had a very good quality to it, very good audio to it. And, and overall, for a low independent uh, budget production like this, I was very impressed. I was also impressed by some of the props they came up with. They had some of these vehicles in here that were just really impressive. And it surprised me. I'm like, wow, those are, those are some badass vehicles. Now, all the characters in the hunting party are interesting and have a little bit of their own unique personalities to them. So we don't have a lot of cookie cutter people going on. And then on the clown side, they came up with a large variety of different clowns. And it's interesting the laws they came up with of the rules and regulations for clown hunting as well. Like this week you can only hunt happy clowns and next week only sad clowns. Uh, so that, that took some thought and some effort and some originality in it. You may not agree with the subject matter, but you gotta admit it is rather original. Now, uh, I like the performances of everybody in here as well. I really like Trick Kelly uh, playing Albino Willie. I love the Albino Willie character. It was really great to see that and uh, it wasn't all just hunters going after clowns. Now, they do also give the spin on the clowns to give them a little bit of a darker side, a little bit of a cruel side to them, so where you can kind of justify the acts of the hunters, if you will. Uh, but uh, it's some pretty some interesting imagery that may offend some people. Folks, Clown Hunt obviously isn't for everyone, but if you don't get that, this is kind of a metaphor for a statement on uh, game farms, well then you're missing kind of that point. There's some interesting footage in here though. They got uh, like clowns being chased through a herd of sheep, and there's some giraffes uh, in this park wherever they filmed this at, so those were impressive. And the pacing was good. I liked the editing. I liked the directing. There is some over-the-top humor and one poop joke, but not much. Not as much as you would expect from an independent uh, comedy horror film of this nature. It, would, it kept itself just at that level, never quite going over the level of outrageousness too many times. It does a few times, but not as much as you might think. Very humorous for those of you who like a dark comedy, a different comedy uh, horror film, or like uh, independent uh, films that are rather original. Yes, it is somewhat disturbing a subject matter for some folks, but for many who like the independent comedy cinema and independent horror comedy, this one should be on your list. Clown Hunt I enjoyed, and I think you will too, if you like this kind of humor. Hey everyone, also I want to bring your attention to Hole in the Wall has a trailer. Yes, the Wisconsin Horror Anthology film I had the pleasure of being a part of. I was the script supervisor. That is now got a trailer. I put a link down below to it. Warning, it is not safe for work. And just as another warning, some things can never be unseen. <laughs> 